GNCC crowned a new champion in 2022, Bryson Neal. Can the defending champ become a back-to-back -back champion here in 2023? The Phoenix Racing Yamaha Bryson Neal stands ready. Are you? GNCC on MAV-TV starts now. Welcome to the opening round of this 2023 Grand National Cross Country Racing Series presented by Specialized, an AMA National Championship. We're here in Union, South Carolina for the Big Buck GNCC. Mikey Wayne's here, and I'll be taking you through today's racing action. As we prepare for today, all of our pro riders stand poised and ready. You saw Chris Borich, the winningest all-time rider in GNCC Pro history. There's the Gator, a fan favorite. Uh, John Glotta, uh, one of the young guns. Uh, I expect big things out of Glotta this year. Of course, Cole Richardson, the Cole Train, another big name. And can't mention all these guys without mentioning Bryson Neal, another one, Hunter Hart. We actually had a chance to catch up with Bryson Neal prior to today's race. We heard from Neil. Let's hear from one of the heavy competitors in that one, Cole Richardson. Well, hearing from Bryson Neal, the defending champ and one of his uh, big time competitors that's going to be fighting for that championship, Cole Richardson. But here we go. The flag drops and we're jockeying for position for the full first hole shot of the season. Who wants it? Woo, Jared McClure, the number nine, going to reach up and get it. Takes it right away from the young man, Wyatt Wilkin, in the mix. Wyatt Wilkin, a rookie this season in the XC1 Pro class. Into the woods we go now, and it is going to be uh, Jared McClure out in front on the number nine. And I believe that was the rookie, Wyatt Wilkin, or excuse me, Cole Richardson in second, Wilkin third, uh, Merritt fourth, and Bryson Neal rounding out that top five. There is Jared McClure out in front, Richardson second, Neal up to third now. So Neal wasted no time, now up into a three position. Picking up a couple of spots early. Got to expect the defending champ wants to come out, set the pace in this one. Now, if you're looking for Walker Fowler, we'll touch on that more in a moment. But injured is not racing here in round number one. Here we go with the XC2. Jockeying for position, the young guns. Oh, taking the whole shot right there. That is Tanner Walker, the 926, grabbing a whole shot in the early lead. Steve Harrell in the mix. Let's see how it sorts out as we enter the woods. And I believe, yes, that's going to be Stephen Harrell. Uh, Stephen Harrell, excuse me, leading the way. Lane McCormick in the number two spot. Two big names in the XC2 class. Uh, really expecting uh, huge things out of both of those riders. Steve Harrell, um, Harrell, excuse me, uh, definitely one of those. We expect to see some big things here today. I think maybe a heavy favorite in that XC2 class. Here we go, back again with our pro riders. The number four, Coltrane leading the way. How about that? So the Coltrane out in front. Leading the way in this one. Unless we miss Jared McClure. 
but it certainly looked like the number four. Yeah, that is going to be the number four. So the number four, we got our first lead change. So Richardson, McClure, and Bryson Neal, one, two, and three. Buzzing past some of the fans here at Big Buck GNCC. Got to hand it to the fans at Big Buck. They come out in droves for the opening round every single season. Uh, again, real quick, back to Walker Fowler. Oh, like this. I like this. Bryce and Neil working the track. He is not going to play follow the leader. There is no doubt about that. Again, no Walker Fowler today. Suffered a pretty gnarly injury prior to the season and will be out uh, really until further notice. No updates on that. But we'll have more GNCC after this. We'll talk a little more about that uh, Walker Fowler situation in just a moment. This broadcast of GNCC Racing on MAV TV is brought to you by Specialized. It's you only faster. And Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. And welcome back to GNCC here on MAV TV, the Big Buck GNCC opening round of 2023. And we've got a new leader, leader, leader. That is right, Bryson Neal out in front on that number one Phoenix Racing uh, Yamaha machine. Jared McClure in the two spot, Wyatt Wilkin in third. And that was Glotta, I believe, in fourth. So Richardson drops back to the number five spot. So Richardson, after a strong start, obviously a mistake made somewhere, drops a few positions. But boy, we know the Coltrane never, uh, never short of effort. The man will be back in the fight. I have no doubt about it. Meanwhile, this guy right here trying to check out to Laterville. That is Bryce and Neil already putting a gap on these guys. Have to see how that plays out for him. Wyatt Wilkin there in the number two spot. Let's talk about him for a moment. Rookie Wyatt Wilkin out here getting it done. Now, will he be able to maintain that? That's the big question. Uh, you know, the rookies, sometimes they can get up there. They can keep that pace um, and learn. Let's put it that way. They can learn uh, from these guys. Does that mean he's going to be there? Maybe. Maybe when the checkered flag flies, Wyatt Wilkins still there. But nonetheless, if you're the rookie rider and you have an opportunity to run up front, trying to chase down guys like Bryson Neal, who's leading it, you're up there with guys like Cole Richardson. Um, even throw John Glotta in the mix. He's got a few years under his belt uh, in the pro ranks. Got to feel good about this uh, to be able to see their lines. Now, I say that, and Wilkin, you got a gap between you and Bryson and Neal. But nonetheless, uh, this is a huge uh, really monumental learning experience for Wy Wyatt Wilkin. How long can he hold off this freight train, though? The amount of riders right there, there's our first shot of Jay Shadron. Uh, he is in the pro ranks this season as well, so things really developing here at the Big Buck GNCC, and as we expected, Bryson Neal finds himself out front. He is controlling that pace. Wilkin in the number two spot, having, or let's call it what it is, the right that dreams are made of right now in the pro ranks for him. Uh, Got to be thinking that way. Glotta having a good ride. Who's missing? Walker Fowler's missing. We, we touched on that a, a little bit before the break. Walker Fowler uh, suffered an injury shortly before the season began. Uh, at this moment, we don't really know the details of that. We just know that he will be out for a pretty significant portion of this 2023 season. Now, the obvious statement is, well, Bryson Neal's the favorite. And... I can't disagree with that, but the maybe unspoken thing is this creates opportunity for guys that aren't named Walker Fowler, guys that aren't named Bryson Neal to step up, be that guy to challenge Bryson Neal. Can one of these guys or a couple of these guys step up to the challenge of competing with this man who I'm not convinced isn't half man, half machine, the Bidwell Bullet? is putting a hurting on him right now out in front a little check up from the neck up right there for bryce and as he looks over his shoulder and maybe he's thinking where the heck are you guys at don't let me run away with it <laughs> but he boy he's doing a fantastic job there goes john glotta right there leading this pack of xc1 riders so unless we missed wyatt wilkin i believe it is going to be glotta in the two spot now john glotta another big rider who is really coming on uh, over the last couple of seasons, you know, flirting with 
uh, being a consistent podium guy. I think this is the year Glotta's got to put together some races that put him on the box. Uh, he'll he'll say that himself, and you know he's right there. He's right there, and I think this is the year we see John Glotta turn it on. There we go. Phoenix Racing Yamaha Bryson Neal that number one plate leading the way out in front. What a ride by this young man, and there is the coal train leading this pack right here. So the coal train's back in business. Oh, Hunter Hart joins the fight. So here we go, Cole Train in the two spot. That's Cole Richardson. You got John Glotta in third, and Hunter Hart being patient back there. Did not have the best start. Now up into the four spot, and we'll see if Glotta can hold off a hard-charging Hunter Hart. Wyatt Wilkin was just behind those guys, not too far off. So I think the rookie, Wyatt Wilkin, is beginning to settle into that pace a bit. And boy, Hunter Hart still just right there all over the rear grab bar of John Glotta. Here comes Wyatt Wilkin now, the rookie. Little checkup from the neck up from him. Wants to see where those guys are at behind him. Got to worry about that track in front of you, young buck. <laughs> He'll get it whipped, no doubt. But the Bidwell Bullet, Bryson Neal, on another planet right now, setting the bar high here in round number one. And the question is going to loom all season long with the absence of Walker Fowler, who is going to be that rider that steps up and challenges Bryson Neal. Right now, they're fighting each other for second. Wyatt Wilkins still trying to stay in the picture. Said, I'm trying to stay relevant. Make you say my name. <laughs> He's trying, man. Doing a good job so far. Bryson Neal right there leading the way. And here is that big battle for second. And good to see right there John Glotta working the track. Not play and follow the leader. And here we go into the pit stops. This is going to be real interesting. Now, Bryson Neal should be able to come in, get fuel, fresh set of goggles, little rehydration, and he should be able to roll out before we even see the next guy. And everybody <laughs> is saying, hey, how you doing? Good job, buddy. He's rolling right now. There's a cold train into the pits now. And John Glotta just in front of him. How key is this? Glotta out. Richardson out. Hunter Hart out. Here's Jared McClure in the McClure pits. Fresh set of goggles. His girlfriend, Kate Osborne, and big sexy there with the pit stop. And here comes the Gator, Adam McGill. Mark McGill, his father, going to give him some fuel with that IMS quick fill. Fresh set of goggles for the Gator, maybe. Gator said, no, nah, I don't need fresh goggles. I'm good. I'm going to send it. Back there in ninth. All right, there's your top five as it stands right now. Bryson Neal trying to run away with it. We'll be right back. Well, GNCC is more than just the pros. We say it all the time. As a matter of fact, the large portion of GNCC is made up of our amateur riders, and some of those, well, they're little ones, little Johnny Sprockets, if you will, out there ripping the Stasic race. It's not a points race. We do it for fun on Saturday nights at a GNCC. If you've ever been to one, bring the little whippersnapper, bring your Stasic, your helmet, your riding gloves, and, well, have some fun. But don't tell them we don't race for points. I mean, it's bar banging action. We're, you know, rubbing's racing. It's all emotion. These guys take it serious, and the little girls. Everybody's taking it serious. Look at the focus in their eyes, and a rider goes down. And he's looking around and says, help me up, George. And George is there with the help, and you got to love that. Great guy right there. Shout out to uh, to the crew at GNCC as well. I mean, we do these late in the evening on a Saturday. All these guys and, and ladies have been working all day. But when you see the smile on the kid's face like that, that is what GNCC racing is all about. Well, here we go. Bryson Neal, our leader, leader, leader out in front. The number one Phoenix Racing Yamaha leading the way. And boy, you talk about a battle for second. This one has been relentless. And boy, it looks like it might be the Coltrane and Hunter Hart in two and three. As we jump back up front with Neal, and Bryson Neal now getting into some of the lap traffic. Now, if you've never been to a GNCC, if you are not aware of how a GNCC works, uh, I'll tell you. 
basically the riders are out there the same time as the amateur classes, some of your novice classes. Now, you're only going to have A, B riders in this afternoon pro race is what they call it. Uh, but nonetheless, as the race wears on, John Glotter right there trying to keep pace with the leaders. But as the race wears on, you're going to catch up to some of those uh, further back rows and added element, which you can imagine as you watch on screen, Neil working through the woods uh, can be challenging at times to get around the lap traffic. Now, I will say, whoa, this battle's heating up here with, uh, with Hunter Hart. Hunter Hart wants it. Hunter Hart moving. Glotta trying to keep pace. The 7-1-2 of John Glotta Jr. trying to keep pace here at the Big Buck GNCC. Bryson Neal scooting out in front. No problems with lap traffic for Bryson Neal. This man makes quick work of it. And I can tell you, if you have been to a GNCC in person, Coltrane in the two spot. And there is Hunter Hart in the number three position. But if you have been to a GNCC and you've been out in the woods, you've watched some racing, you know when the pros are coming. It's got a different sound. It is a mean growl, and you cannot mistake it. And uh, a lot of your amateur riders, they don't mistake it as well. They know it's a leader behind them. One of the pro guys, boy, Bryson Neal, just looking flawless here at Big Buck. Just controlling the pace. Uh, Bryson Neal's done a great job playing the runaway and hide. Run away and hide, and a little distance now. I'm gonna guess that was was Hunter Hart, maybe at the bottom of the screen there. We just missed. I think that was a coal train in front of him. Well, let's see. No, that was not Hunter Hart. Hunter Hart has fallen back. He's had to check up at some point, and now John Glotta all over the rear grab bar of Hunter Hart. We got ourselves a good one. We'll be right back with more. This broadcast of GNCC Racing on MAV-TV is brought to you by Specialized. It's you, only faster. And RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. And welcome back to GNCC here on MAV-TV. Round number one, the Big Buck GNCC. And you are watching the Phoenix Racing Yamaha of Bryson Neal, the defending champ coming out, putting his stamp on round number one. And almost a flawless race, not perfect. He didn't have the whole shot, but boy, once he got the lead, Neal checks out to Laterville, and here he is for the checkered flag at the Big Buck GNCC. And really setting the bar high. Who is gonna step up and challenge the Bidwell bullet of Bryson Neal? It's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be a long season for everybody if Bryson Neal continues to ride like this. Just absolutely stellar. Gets his helmet off. Chilling. Oh, man, Big Buck and uh, Tiger Run, they treat me real good. I, I really like the soil down here, the dirt. The track is just, today was just amazing. The dirt bike guys are going to absolutely love this place tomorrow. Had traction everywhere you went, had a good flow, but uh, the guys, they threw in a lot of new stuff, too. They had a whole different flow today um, off the, the old, you know, normal fast-flowing trails, a lot of twisty, torny, uh, left, right, up, down on the off-cambers, made for some good track, for some good racing. Well, the Cole train, Cole Richardson, was able to bring it in for a second place finish on the day after some great battles with Hunter Hart. Oh, uh, you know, uh, round one's always been kind of hit or miss for me, but uh, I know we put the work in. It would show eventually this season. I'm happy it you know, was able to be round one to be on the box. And, uh, you know, we got off to a great start. I uh, actually got into the lead there, and um, I think I missed a little bit of the track when I was biking. And, uh, you know, we got to, I think, the FMF power point, and, I thought the arrow said hard, but it said easy, and uh, I got passed by six or seven guys there and fell back, and, you know, I, I knew we had the fitness. Uh, we're on a whole new setup this year, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll check this one off as a win, and uh, the bike was good, and uh, just, just happy to be on the box for round one. Well, we jump back into that third place, the battle for third place. Hunter Hart leading the way and should bring it home in front of John Glotta, does he? Yes. Whew, that was a close one, but nonetheless, Hunter Hart will take the number three spot on the day with a great battle with John Glotta down to the wire. Well, taking a look at your top three 
here today, or your top ten, I should say. Bryson Neal first, Richardson second, Hunter Hart rounding out the box. Good day. Decent start to the year. Uh, best start we've had in XC1. You know, we matched what we got in 21. And, uh, no, it was good. We um, had a... Had a meh start and um, kind of put ourselves in a hole from there. Made some decent passes, you know, that first first couple laps. Got ourselves up to, I think, uh, right around that four or five position. Then we made a couple passes. After that, we were right on Cole, actually, pushing on Cole, and ended up uh, not sure what happened. We lost our front brakes on that last lap. And then at that point, you know, this was definitely a track you want to have, uh, have front brakes. But uh, no, it was good, you know, uh, speed was there. You know, fitness is good. I, um, I feel, feel better than I felt a long time at the end of one of these. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm ready to go again in, in two weeks, back to the San Juan event all winter, so it'll be good. Happy to leave here with a third, especially with uh, not riding much in the dirt this winter. And uh, yeah, no, bike was good. Uh, start, was, start was, like I said, 50-50, but uh, I'm just stoked to be able to feel, feel this strong at the end and be ready, uh, ready to do it again. Well, we take a look at our specialized race recap. Round number one, off and rolling. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, but it was going to be the number nine. Jared McClure going up and grabbing that hole shot. And boy, what a great ride by Wyatt Wilkin early in this one. Got to sing his praises. The rookie, uh, for those that say, ah, well, he didn't make the podium. Yeah, that's fine. He, he, he's a rookie, and uh, he eventually settled into that race pace but boy, talk about the leaps and bounds in learning, being able to run up front with the guys who have been doing this for several years and battling for podiums. So, hey, I guarantee you, Wyatt Wilkin, he had the notebook out. He was taking notes, and that kid's going to be something special. But today was about Bryson Neal, who got out front, and once he did, he said, bye, I'm out of here, I'm out. Coltrane and Hunter Hart had some great battles going on throughout much of the day. Hunter Hart, not the best start, was able to get up and fight for a podium, ended up making a small mistake somewhere, and ended up battling with Glotta, but as the checkered flag flew, it was the Bidwell bullet coming in and grabbing the first win of the year. And we'll enjoy that reverse plate. And this was that battle we were talking about with Hunter Hart and John Glotta. This is how close it was you got to breathe a sigh of relief if you're Hunter Hart. And if you're John Glotta, you got to be hungry. That one hurts. That's going to do it for us here at the Big Buck GNCC. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.